goodness with face, pat, and tiz. Um, because it's been a lot of bullshit. Um, I've sat back because I wanted to wait until we recorded, uh, and I didn't want to sully um, the feel-good vibe of our live show. You didn't ask us, but every Saturday on Facebook and uh, YouTube, and I, I mean every Sunday at nine thirty on Facebook and YouTube. But uh, I didn't want to sully that. Yeah, I didn't want to sully that vibe um, with this. But we got to talk about it, man. Brother, polite. And these rape charges. So polite. Um, okay, it's a few things that I wanted to get into. It's a few angles I wanted to discuss with y'all about this. Um, basically, based on like we know what the charges are. He's a disgusting animal, and the fact that um, evidence has already kind of started pointing his way is horrible. Um, but for those that don't know out there, Brother Polite, um, Michael Nowak, whatever you want to call him, um, from the Sarnetta, what I call it, the House of Hotel Hustlers, who's brought us people like Uma, who brought us people like uh, Sarah Sutensetti and others. Um, it's like the Grifter Shop, uh, the Hassan Campbell, all of these guys come through Sarnetta's camp. Um, but anyway, Brother Polite, um, who has already been known as a scammer in our community, um, Oh, running no. several different financial scams. Um, he's been exposed by people like Pocket Watching with JT, uh, Real Real Accounting React. So please check out that um, expose that he did on him. Um, but he's been shady. Um, he's now been accused of raping a 14 year old girl. Um, the details of the story, according to the police report, are that. Um, Polite and the mother of the girl and the girl were in Miami and they were out partying. Um, the mother of the girl went back to the hotel that they were sharing. She allowed the girl to go with Polite to another club, an after hour spot or something like that, where they went. Brother Polite fed the girl drinks, took her back to a separate hotel, where he then began to orally rape her and furthermore. Um, DNA was found on the girl's face and scarf that she had on her head, I guess. Um, and the DNA supposedly matches Brother Polite, allegedly. Um, and this is all according to, the, like, the police report and the news reports that's out there. Um, obviously, I wasn't in the room, but I definitely believe that when DNA said it is you, buddy, you're a disgusting creep. You're a disgusting fucking human being. And I hope whatever extent of the law happens to you and whatever behind bars, I hope whatever prison justice that needs to be levied happens to you. Um, he has been accused of this before, um, even by Sarnetta. Um, Sarnetta, a few years back, um, actually accused him of taking a young girl. I think that this girl's like 15 from her family, 15 or 16 from her family. Um, so this isn't new allegations, sadly. Um, but having being said that polite is a disgusting creep, this young lady did not deserve that. No child deserves to be abused. Um, and this child is completely innocent in all of this. So anybody that would be, for one, I saw some people online. Okay, so it's three lines that I wanted to throw out there to y'all that I've heard online and I wanted to get y'all takes on it and give my take and just kind of build on it. So the first uh, thing that I heard out there was the most disgusting thing I'll deal with that first. People actually saying stuff like, why this young girl being so fast? Why is she going to the club by herself with this dude? Like, it's her fault that she was in all of these situations. Why is she dressing like an adult? Why is she hanging with this dude? Why, why is she drinking? All of this. How do y'all feel about that? What are y'all takes on those? <laughs> comments is there any validity to those comments to y'all that, that's my comment the nah, I, think I, nah, I think out of the three of us my opinion gonna be because i got a daughter almost just that same age and my daughter will be 13 in a few weeks um first as a father 
I'm trying to hold my composure as much as I can because shit like that, or anything I did with girls, especially, just ticks me the fuck off because I have I have girls. You feel me? I was raised by women, so anything like that really just sends me off the edge anyway. Um, as far as people commenting on what the little girl wore, um, one, she don't buy her own clothes. Um, she may dress herself, but she don't buy her own clothes and she don't have no job. So that boy down to the parents. The parents had to buy the outfits. You feel me? Now she may dress herself cool. She may have a inkling of what she may want to wear, but it's up to the parents to decide, yeah, you can wear this or I can buy this for you or no. Boy down to the parents. Um, where is she allowed to go? She was with her mother. Her mother went back to the play, to the hotel, and she proceeded to go out with a, a, an older gentleman who she was already out with her mother. So once again, boils down to the parents. Um, basically, everything I'm saying, it boils down to the parents when you look at what this little girl is supposed to be responsible for because the parents play a role in this. Now, the adult males in this situation dastardly low down dirty i'm not even going to sell our content with what i really want to call him but everyone who knows knows um well, we still have another person in jail who was accused who accused of doing the same thing we just, we just have tapes of that guy he's just now getting to jail mr kelly um so why is this guy not behind bars based on these allegations and proof is already coming up um as far as i'm concerned uh if he's out on the street, y'all giving everybody willing and aim to go do what they want to do. Um, that's just the way I'm looking at it. At no point in time should you blame the victim. All this victim blaming of 2021 is really getting on my nerves because at the end of the day, this is a child. This is not an adult. This is not a grown woman who knew I'm drinking this alcohol and it's going to make me feel this way and it's going to lower my inhibitions. No, because she's 14. She has no inhibitions. She's 14. 14 as a child. I don't care what country you're in. You're 14. You're still a child. You're not mature enough to make adult right. decisions. No child in this situation should be blamed or looked at anything to or or like they have a part to play in this. She was just a victim. She went along with somebody she thought she could trust. They put them in put her in a situation that she couldn't do nothing about. Oh, now. In my time as a child, when I was 17, sure, it was girls younger than that dressing to be older. But I was a child at that time, too. So me looking at that, I knew they were children. So an adult man looking at those kids know they're children, too. It's the difference between a grown woman dressing to be grown and dressing sex sexy and a child attempting to dress as a grown woman looking to be sexy. It's a big difference. Difference. And any man who looks at a child who is attempting to dress sexy and finds that sexy, something's wrong with that man. I'm sorry. That's just yeah. what it is. It's a sickness, but you don't need the type of treatment we're trying to give to you. You need that old school, that old school type of treatment. Because you out here being a predator to these young girls, man, like, I'm sorry. I have no love, no, no nothing behind whatever happens to this man. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just me. And that's my personal, personal opinion as a father. You feel me? I have two young, beautiful girls. And if any man would ever touch them, I would have no problem sitting behind bars for the rest of my life with a big smile on my face knowing I did whatever I needed to do to that person. Because once again, my girls are kids. Don't harm kids, man. Yeah, I like that. Don't. One second with that dude in a private space. I, mean, I don't... I don't get down with people hurting adults either. I really don't like violence. I'm, I know as much as I speak on my Second Amendment right here, that's the Second Amendment, excuse me, a Second Amendment right to defend myself. I'm not going out and being violent. I'm, a, I'm totally against violence until I have no recourse but to be violent. But any violence against kids is not tolerated, man. It's zero tolerance. And it should be zero tolerance worldwide for violence against kids, man. Because once again, they didn't actually come to this world. And until yeah, yeah. they're grown, the decision that you feel me like their parents still have a heavy weight and, and play a heavy part of the, the, the decisions a child makes because it's up to you to teach the child right from wrong and teach the child where to be and what not to do and shit like this. When I was raised, I was always told pick my friends like I pick my pick my outfits. I ain't gonna wear anything, so don't surround myself with anybody. Watch the situation you put yourself in. You feel me? Always watch about these are things that I was taught 
not things I ideally know because I didn't grow knowing had that knowledge. When I was raised, I was raised given that knowledge to not put myself in such a situation. So that young girl, you want to say she put herself in a situation? Cool, that's your opinion. But realize at the end of the day, if she put herself in a situation, her parents didn't teach her how not to. Right. What say you, Pat? What do you think about people uh, basically, like they said, victim shaming or blaming the girl for her situation? I mean, you, we need to watch those people that are blaming the girl. Yeah. Yeah, that was the last person that got the bold enough to say that, crazy enough to say all that, we need to watch them because they are condoning behavior like this and it shouldn't be condoned at all. Like right. victim blame, like that shit is it's just that's just you're a trash human being for doing that. Like she's a girl, she she was under the influence. She was actually under adult supervision, but it was the wrong adult supervisor. Because, like, that was her, that was his girlfriend's daughter, right? His, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, like, automatically you think you're in a safe, safe spot because right. that's the guy that your mom's dealing with. Right. Or whatever. Right, and absolutely. Then the public eye so you don't think he's going to do anything crazy because he's in the public eye but man people get in that public eye I feel like it's a culture of people it's like some inner culture of people or whatever that just like think they want to stay in a certain I don't know certain status they could do whatever the fuck they want and it's, it's no repercussions about it because it's them or yeah. whatever, because they believe some type of distorted view on life, some distorted belief system that don't exist, something like that. And that's what I feel like Brother Polite is on. Like, he ain't, call that on that. ain't nobody put like that. I don't that know what it is. Yeah. Uh, I just I just called him that because that's just what the fuck I remember his name is or whatever, or whatever. his other name I don't know what it is but brother scumbag <laughs> um brother yeah, that's, that's, rapist. Uh, then this is the second time and I mean and, and then it's just like it he's part of that culture where they rape they also rape the truth I man don't let me X this out to because I know that that word gets like flag or whatever, but he grapes the truth. Yeah. Pretty much. And and what I mean by that is like they'll get something, some statistic or whatever that's actual fact, or just they'll build off of knowing all these statistics and knowledge about how messed up the system is so they can gain um rapport with people around them and gain a following or whatever, but it's really so they can boost up their ego and get to a certain point that they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. Right. When you say boost up the ego to do whatever the fuck they want to do, that is exactly where I want to go next. Um, so the next angle I saw that I wanted to just get y'all take on, man, and just kind of uh, vent on. Um, why is it that whenever a black man is charged with this type of thing, instead of saying, okay, let's see what happened, or maybe he did really do this, all of their supporters always immediately go to, oh, they just hate them for their money, or it's because he's black, or like, why can't we criticize our own people? Why does it have to be hate just because, like, why do we have to support somebody no matter what their charges are just because they're black? Well, I'm going to say I don't know why they do, because my support is a hard thing to gain, so if I do support you and some shit come out, I Shit, I got a reasonable doubt. I'm gonna look at you sideways until the truth comes out. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the way it is. I don't give a fuck what the justice system or what America says. He's innocent to prove guilty. No, you get it to prove innocent, and that's the way I keep it. Like, fuck it. Like, I don't give a fuck what color you are. Talk trash about your ass anyway, because everybody talk trash. And what the fuck. Mm. I feel like you know all the people who who act like that, they on that same old fashioned thing. Oh, we got to stick together regardless. Oh, oh we can't let they put the black man down. Oh, fuck, right. what color you? Black people do dirt too. Shit, because I'm yeah. pro black. Don't black stupid. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. keep yep, 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 yep. Oh, I'm no, with you 100 percent there. You know, I turn a, a blind eye to your actions just because you black. The fuck? I'm gonna look at your actions the 10 times harder because I'm like, man, you black, you should know better. The fuck? You know what the cause we're trying to go to. You you know what we're fighting for, and right. you doing stupid shit. So I'm times stronger, 10 times harder. The fuck? Right. I ain't gonna not, to turn a blind eye. He black. No, it can't be true. Motherfucker, you ain't innocent just because you black. Your color don't your color don't mean nothing. You born with that color. That's the same thing we tell white people. Our color don't mean we're bad. Your color don't mean you good either. So exactly. for the same same shit we keep preaching at these white folks about our color. Black folks realize the same shit goes the same way with you with this, this damn color. Just because you black don't mean you are immune right. to criticism. You're not. Absolutely. They talked about Jesus. You better than Jesus? Nope. Ain't nobody. We gonna talk. Uh, what we'll say you? Um, I'm bounce off what they said because, like, like I said, what I said earlier, they built, they build this PR wall of, hey, he was the guy that said this, he was the guy that said this, he's the guy that brought this to attention, or whatever, and we don't want to lose that, or whatever. But at the same time, the 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 other perspective I have with that is that, just like you have Trump supporters that no matter like like you have christian trump supporters or whatever and no matter what he's accused of or what he's seen or, or what he's obviously just been recorded said or what he just said yesterday or or this that and the third they will defend wholeheartedly you're gonna have the same thing i even i think i said that before like about umar or whatever like like he's like a black trump without the money pretty much this is the same type of situation or whatever charismatic people can build a following fast or whatever what? like you've seen it with cult leaders like jim jones and stuff like that charismatic people can build a following fast or whatever but it's the same thing it's just like what they said just because you're black doesn't mean you're all around good or whatever and these whole tips these hotel um, hustlers, as uh, Tiz coined it or whatever, they build a, they pander to black men, basically. They pander to black men on a level of that we're on some divine bloodline where we can't do no wrong or whatever. Right. Like, um, because we don't have we don't have recorded history to ever show that we did all around wrong like we have before. But like your history. mic is your mic is touching your body somewhere. It's like I don't know whether it's touching your shirt, your hoodie, your okay. chip. But yeah, um, no, you good. Um, I definitely want to say as far as the little girl, people blaming her. You're as sick as him. Period. Point blank. You're sick as him if you believe that. And I want 31 seconds in private with you and him. Um, as far okay. as as far as um, us being able to criticize, I feel like exactly what y'all said. Like, I am all for Black people in general. Mm -hmm. But on an individual pace, basis, I still can judge you. Just like I don't hate white people. But on the individual basis, I might hate a white person. I may hate a black person depending on how bad they have done something to harm people that I care about or the human race in general. So, like, we got to stop putting these people up on a pedestal to where they infallible and where we can't, like, where they're above mm -hmm. critique. Like, everybody is able to be critiqued, especially if you are a public figure. Now, if you're a private person and your business is private and people snoop around, well, that's one thing. But... Your stuff out in the public. You are a public figure. You know that people are going to have an opinion on the things you do. So it is incumbent upon you to not do shit that, for one, it's allows stupid. us to have a negative opinion. But then, two, when we have a negative opinion, you're not above that. Your black skin doesn't make you impervious to being a fucked up person. Some people are just bad people. 
And, and I think th that's the scary part when we get to, when I watch people over this past week, like literally like ride hard for this dude, even as DNA evidence is coming out and all that. And I'm like, but, but do y'all see what this dude did? Like, damn how you feel about his rhetoric, how you feel about whatever, whatever, whatever. Take his color out of it. Take what you feel about him out of it and just look at the bare minimum facts. The dude is accused of raping a child. You're not going to tell me that's okay. And the moral of this polite story, y'all, is he's a, for one, he's a scumbag. He's definitely a disgusting scumbag. And I want private time with him. Pause. I want to shake his hand in person, but but not with my hands. I got something else to uh, I would, yeah. Second Amendment would be very much useful with him. Um, allegedly, if he did this. But y'all know people. Um and lastly, black men. We got to stand up and damn this bro code or there's no snitching or whatever the case may be. And when we know people are on fuck shit, we got to hold them accountable, whether that be through street justice or through the law. This man had already been accused of this a few years ago. In a haven of black men and none of those black men stood the hell up and actually called him out for it in a way that was substantial enough to get him get charges brought up when they knew the shit that he was doing. If you can call it out when you're being catty because he you mad at him over some money shit, then you can call him out on it and take that shit to the police if you got evidence on that. And anybody else in that camp or in his camp that knew about this, that is a black man. And I'm talking to black men because I can't blame black women for whatever they did because I'm not in charge of them. But I can say as a black man, we in the same club and it ain't no way in the world you will tell me a black man will be around me and I know that they fuck around doing shit like this and I don't say something or handle that shit way before. As soon as I know about it, that shit's supposed to be handled and any other black man is supposed to stand on the same principles. That's my opinion, but I feel like that opinion is super valid and if you feel differently, I got to question your morals in life. I got to question it. Are you definitely a black man or not? Because the shit shouldn't have got this far. Point blank period. We knew shit was wrong. And some of us, you know, we stopped supporting them, but we didn't have the evidence. But them black men that sitting around in his camp, like I ain't gonna blame people that, that may have been in the supporter camp because up until now, we ain't really had no, no real charges and no real evidence. So I get it. I, I, I respect it. I understand. I can't blame you for just not knowing. But now that we know, or them people that was in his camp that knew from the beginning. Mm -hmm. We got to stop in our community being quiet to try to save people because they black or they black men or they are boy or they are homegirl or they because they uncle, whatever, or auntie, whatever. This shit got to stop, yo. We got to care enough about our black women, our black children and our black men that have been abused. And, and we got to actually put an end to this shit, man. And that's the morals of that story. Damn it. I can tell you what, the partners, we got manners, but we damn sure ain't polite. And we don't stand on nothing that, if you stand on anything similar to what polite stand on, man, we fuck you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And that's all I had to say about that. That's all my topics for this week, fellas. <laughs>